Because often what you would see is when they discuss the gold standard, they would put the gold standard under fixed exchange rates. So the gold standard would be one example of fixed exchange rates, and that would be right alongside things like fiat currencies created by a world bank. There would be um, a, a fiat currency uh, in, in, in the uh, view of Keynes and some of the, the later Keynesians, which would be issued by a world bank, and then individual currencies would be tied to that world currency by fixed exchange rates. So the gold standard was there, and then on the other side was fluctuating exchange rates, uh, and those were, were a system in which different national currencies fluctuated in value value against one another. Of course, this is um, not satisfactory. The key difference is that between a market supplied money or commodity money whose supply and demand is anchored in the market and a money whose supply is monopolized by uh, the political authority, be it through its central bank or, or directly through the, uh, the government. So the best systems from the, from the point of view of 